Shalom, my Israel. Give me all praise to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahusha. By Hashem, by Hakadosh. The Hakadosh. The one who said, "Elzer Jimas, who rules all salutations to Akim out there, pushing his word in truth and sincerity, risking your freedom and your life to do so." Um, more so now than ever before. Uh, we're coming at the time of the end. The end times, man. And um, a lot of things are unfolding. A lot of things are coming to pass. Okay. Um, don't let. You know, this world of Satan distract you from what's really going on. And the fact of the matter is, you know, we're coming to that time. I mean, everything is being revealed. Your elect is waking up to the truth, okay? That you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites, according to the Bible, that fit all the curses of Deuteronomy, uh, verse uh, uh, the 15th chapter, um, I believe, verse 15 and up, okay? I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. But um yeah, man, I feel all the curses. And 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 and, and the Lord is gonna soon be revealed um in these times, which we're in the last days. And a part of the, the, the revelation or the revealing of the Lord is the fact of what he looked like. And yeah, this has been covered a million times. It's been a million, million and, and a billion times it's been said. But it's still a lot of people that don't know what the Lord looks like. It's still a lot of people that walks around on this planet that worships this guy. Okay? As you can see, description of Jesus Christ, you know, quote unquote Jesus Christ, which his real name is um Yahweh Shamashiach, which is Hebrew in which he spoke. He was a Hebrew Israelite, okay? The language is Hebrew. His language is Hebrew, and his nationality was an Israelite, according to the Bible. Um, Israelite meaning the sons of Israel, you know, which his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. You see? And Israel became a nation of people, 12 tribes to be exact. And it comprises of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? And the Lord himself stemmed from one of the tribes called Judah, which is you American blacks, okay, you African Americans, y'all are considered Judah, okay, the head tribe, okay, the Judites, okay, y'all suffer the curses just as much as the Latinos and the so-called Native Americans, okay, but a part of his revealing and showing himself is to give his servants what he looked like, so we didn't give him, um, we're going to give them Revelations 1, verse, we're going to start, we're going to start, hold on, we're going to get Revelations 1, verse 13, Revelations 1, verse 13, you know, I started at 12, Revelation 1, verse 12, and I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden sticks. All right, so you know what? We can jump to Revelation 1 verse 1. The revelation of Yahweh Shamashiach, okay? I'm not reading it verbatim. It says there, Jesus Christ, but his name is Yahweh Shamashiach, okay? And the revelation, revelation means to reveal something, okay? When you have a revelation, it means something's been revealed to you, okay? So it says the revelation, the revealing of Jesus Christ, so-called, or what we know him as, the truth is Yahweh Shamashiach, which the Most High gave unto him, unto who? John, okay? John the Baptist that was sent to the island of uh, Patmos to work on the salt mine. He, he's he been revealed these revelations. That's what the book of Revelations is, okay? So he gave unto John uh, this revelation, this revealing. And what is he, what is he giving unto him for? says, to shew unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. Now, people people are bugged out. And what they would say was, oh, but if that was the case, if that was the case, how could, how could Jesus, how could Jesus give John the word if John was supposed to reveal something to his servants? But John was a servant himself. John was in the island of Patmos. Uh, serving in a salt mine. But then when you go on the scriptures, the scriptures say, um, 
uh, 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 write, write this word playing upon tables. And in the end, it's just speaking that lie. Okay? To him that readeth it, he may run. Okay? So, Jia John, John was cast in the island of Patmos. And I wasn't talking about the specific time where John was alive that this word was going to go forth. It was talking about a later time in the time we're in now. That the words that was revealed unto him should reveal, be revealed unto us. We're gonna see it, and we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be his servants to to, to to see what he's talking about. So I'm gonna read on to Shu. So it says Revelation one verse one. Uh, the revelation of Yahweh Shammashiach, which the Most High gave unto him to Shu unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Shortly, there you go. I Meaning it wasn't gonna happen then, but it's gonna happen in the future. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. So he, he, he went through the mouth of the angel himself uh, to the angel, and the angel went to John. And this, in Revelation 1 verse 12, is, is, is something he was talking to the angel about. So he was talking to the angel, and I'm just giving you context. So it says, Revelation 1 verse 12, And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden sticks, okay, which is the seven churches of Asia Minor, okay, seven, the seven candlesticks, which is during the Passover, we have seven candlesticks that we light. That's the seven churches in Asia Minor. Also, seven means completion, okay? So he says, seven golden sticks, verse 13, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one light unto the Son of Man. All right, so behind the seven golden sticks was a, a, a Son of Man, which is a man. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Okay, he had a garment all the way down to his foot, and girt about the pass with a golden girdle. Okay, he had he was girt up in his mid section, his mid his mid set his mid section, with a golden a golden belt. Okay, like a wall like a, well a wall like apparel like gold wall like apparel. Because, Yahweh was a man of war. Okay, just like our father Yahweh, which is in heaven. He's a man of war also. So he, he was girt by the paps, his midsection, with a golden girdle. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. Okay, so who, who do you know has white and woolly hair? Who do you know on earth has white, white color, woolly in texture? Okay, wool comes from sheep. Sheep have wool. Now, have you ever seen a sheep or been around a sheep? I've seen a sheep, I done pet a sheep, and petting a sheep is no different from petting, you know, Negro or West Indians um, here. They have the same texture here. Wool is no different. It's like a rug, you see? So John is telling, he's giving a description of who the Lord is. His head and his hair were white like wool, meaning the Lord's hair was white and woolly. So we're going to go back to this picture, man. Who the hell is this guy? Y'all gonna find out this guy was a fraud. Okay? Caesar Borgia. His father was the Pope, I believe. His father was the Pope. And because Caesar Borgia was his son, they said they wanted to pay him the son of God. Because he felt like he was God. Alright? Look at this. Who the hell is he? Because John ain't talking about a guy that looked like this. His head and his head is not white and woolly. And even this picture, what the hell is this? A brown skin with 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 um head down to his back. The Lord didn't look nothing like this, man. John didn't see this in a vision. He did not see this. This is bull crap, you see? This was not this is not the crucifixion, okay? Let's get that. Let, 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 let's get the image. This ain't it. But this this is a this is an episode of good times. And um an episode, <laughs> you know, he said, Mama, you know, the Bible tells you and it is exactly the, the description we we broke we broke down. It was an episode of good time. And this is the image. He said, you know, Mama in Revelation is one, you know, thirteen and fifteen gives a description of the Lord. 
And he pulls out this. He pulls out this portrait. Okay. Okay. Dark. Dark. Dark skin. Which the Lord was a lot darker than that. But dark skin. White and woolly hair. You see, he was a so-called black man. If he was, if he walked the earth, he'd be considered an, uh, a so a so-called black man, Negro. And this is the reason why we look at so-called Jesus Christ as a so-called white man today. This is Job 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the face of the judges thereof. Okay, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Okay, meaning the Lord has placed power and authority and, and all strip strength in the hands of Esau Edom. Okay, the so-called white man. He rules the world today. And what the scripture say? He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Who are the judges, man? First of all, the heavenly father, the heavenly, the heavenly of heavenly father, Yahweh, and his son Yahweh Shah, which is under him. Them the two top judges in the in the earth is thinking they white men. They even not believing in the heavenly father. They don't either don't believe in the most high or they believe he's a so called white man. That's the completely covering the faces of the judges. And also the Israelites, man, we're judges. But but let them tell it on the news we're criminals and we're gangbangers. Even though that's some, what our, some of our people are into, we are judges. So we know he covered the face of the judge thereof. If not, where and who is he? So if he's not the wicked for doing that, then where can you find him and who is he? That's what the scripture's saying. So, man, th we just got to break down, you know, these strongholds that, that take hold of our people, especially because, and then it, they, they put, they put a, 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 this is this is a show, Black Jesus, and, you know, he got the nerve to have fringes on his garment, which is the border of his garment, but he has the, you know, the garment down to his foot, but then look at his hair, okay, stringy. Which is not the case, man. The Lord, the Lord is a so-called black man, and, and and then look, this is on uh, um, Adele Swim as a comedy skit. But it ain't no joke, man. The Lord is a so-called black man. Look, look, look at this. The Lord being a black man is a joke. He smokes weed, he drinks forties, and his hair is um, down to his foot. Really, the Lord looked more like this guy to the left, really. You know, but he's got to break down these strongholds, man. Because the world, there's a lot of people that don't still believe that this is him. But it's not. You see? So with that, I want to give a praise to you. How about Shimmy Abshah? About Shimmy Chaka does the one. So that was a GMS with Wu. I say, taste to you. I came out there, put the word of truth in the city, risking your freedom, your life to do so. Um, stay strong. Keep watching for the for the prophecies. The elect is not fully woken up yet because obviously we're still in this captivity. So you know, with that, man, stay strong, someone.